Oh. Can everyone hear Carlos? I can hear you. Yeah, very well. Okay, great. Okay, so um, so today Dr. Liu is going to talk all about um, acupuncture for pain management. Acupuncture for pain management. And so Dr. Liu, um, I've been working with Dr. Liu for the past no, like, almost I've ten. China through the years, so there's a couple of um, kind of world-renowned acupuncturists um, named Zheng Gui Sen, right, and Professor Yang Jia Sen, and they all had special acupuncture techniques, which hopefully Dr. Liu will be able to explain a little bit today. Um, and so the question is, you know, Dr. Liu, how, how does acupuncture help for pain management? Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, first of all, I want to say, uh, actually, acupuncture, we can help take care of the pain. We don't necessarily say we are managing the pain. That's a totally different concept. Because uh, with Western medicine, when they see the pain, they kill the pain. The pain, it's the problem. Pain, it's the enemy need to be killed of pain. But in Chinese medicine, we don't necessarily believe what pain is really a problem. We think the cause of the pain is the problem. So that's a difference. You know, pain, it's a, it's a reminder. You know, it's like the body reminder of so something going on, something not right. Um, if we don't have a pain, it's like alarm. You know, alarm never designed to bother you. Alarm designed to give you, you know, like to give you, uh, get your attention, you know, like it's a fire or someone breaking into the house. Uh, so that's why you hear the alarm. If we constantly just try to destroy the noise and get rid of the alarm, it doesn't fit the purpose. Uh, that, that really defeated the purpose. So mm -hmm. the pain, and we, you know, human being for so many years, uh, sometimes we don't know what's going on inside. So that's why in order to the body give you signal, so you have pain, you can't run like a horse. You have to stop. You have to let the body to heal before you can function normally. So that's the, that's the mechanism and that's the purpose of the pain. So in, um, we, that's why we don't try to kill the pain. We just try to listen to the pain and get, get the idea what's going on and help change the, um, you know, the whatever the problem, the pain goes away. So I have to say now for, uh, in the medical society, in the medical field, um, the, the, so many medical doctors and the patients that has a misunderstanding. Uh, when you have a pain, you go to see a doctor, basically they will do the x-ray or MRI or, you know, just to find out. Uh, they only concentrate on the bone structure. You know, they don't, they, they, they have to do the x-ray to figure out what's going on, uh, you know, your bone structure. Uh, let's say if the patient injured, you go to see a doctor, they take an x-ray, they say, okay, you didn't break the bone, you're fine, go home. But the patient says, I'm still in pain, take a painkiller. I'm, you know, it's a swollen, just take anti-inflammatory, you know, some drugs. They only concentrate on the, uh, on the bone structure. But people, even include the uh, uh, Western medical doctor, if they really treated them, you know, like an orthopedic doctor, they treated the patient for a long period of time, they will find out, um, you know, whatever you see on the x-ray, on the structure abnormality, most of the time has nothing to do with your pain. So let's say patients say, I have a back pain. So the doctor did the x-ray, shows, oh, you have a degenerated disc, you have arthritis, you you lost some cartilage, that's why you're in pain. Uh, when the patient go to do the x-ray, I almost to know if the patient, they will find anything wrong or not, because uh, number one, has nothing to do with your pain. Number two, if you're old, if you're elderly people, they will find something. They will definitely, because uh, whatever they see on the structure, it's the aging process. It's not, uh, you know, it's not necessarily what the cause of the pain. So we want to say two things to show up 
we cannot say one must be cause of the other problems. So mm-hmm. like uh, I first day wear the new shoes and I walk out, maybe someone drop the ball, you know, hit my head. You think that has anything to do with the new shoes I wear? No, two things show up. They all first time, but doesn't mean that there will be one cause or not. So when a patient in back pain, you see there's some degenerated disc, you see some problems, means that that's what's caused the pain? No, not at all. Because I often tell my, you know, my patient always come say, you know, some 70 some years old patient always come to see me say, oh, I had a back pain for two weeks. I had an x-ray. I lost so much cartilage. I have arthritis. Can you help me? I said, of course I can help you. And then whatever your pain has nothing to do with that. The patient said, why? I just had an x-ray. I said, you had this x-ray reading, this kind of change probably more than 15 years. But you had a pain for two weeks. Why you would think 15 years never bother you, this two weeks bother you? That has mm-hmm. nothing to do with each other. If you're young, you're in a lot of pain, you could have an x-ray. I guarantee that your back looks perfect. Because it, for 20 years old, mm-hmm. you know, what they were going to see. So a structural abnormality, it's an aging process. But the patient has a pain, it's not a, I wouldn't say it never caused a problem by less than 1%. You know, in clinic, they did a statistics. You, that's a, uh, how we di- differentiate, how we find out that my pain is not due to structural abnormality. If you have a pain, if your bone stru- bone chip or your any bone structure pinch on your nerve, the pain never goes away 24 hours a day. No matter what you do, you are in pain. I saw those kind of patients. Surgery, it's the only answer. Because you, you can imagine there's a bone chip pinch on your nerve. The pain's not going to go away. If the pain comes, goes sometimes worse in the morning or afternoon get less or, you know, it goes away and they come back has nothing to do with your bone structure. And uh, that's one thing we need to figure out. And the uh, um, second thing is that we don't want, I don't like people think, you know, medical experts think of the body, it's uh, so dumb, they don't know anything at all. If without the medical help, they were will, they will so dumb, they will be dropped dead. I don't, I disagree with this kind of idea because of why. The body is very smart, body understand the nerve, it's not going to go cross or getting close to the joint. If you're getting older, you will lose some cartilage or you have some, you know, change of, you know, like a arthritic change that will pinch the nerve. The body, the nerve, it's going to stay away from this area. It's like uh, who's going to save all your, ex- you know, military explosive next to the fireplace? Who's going to do that? No one doing that. So the body, of course, they, they understand. That's why you see we have a brain, we have a scale, you know, scale to, to hold the brain. We have a chest, we have a rib to hold. The body understand. You, you getting old, you will go, your joints were going to get degenerate. If that causes you pain to death, body is a smarter, gotta be smarter than that. So oh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't buy this because uh, I see this all the time, the patient. I treated them for a couple of weeks. The patient, the pain goes away. I said, go back to get another x-ray. Looks exactly the same. Right. So um, that wasn't the cause of the pain in the first place. So, so, what, you, so, so, what, so what causes, so what the, causes like, the pain? Like, even though the person, person shows, shows, let's say, let's say um, like some like, people can show abnormality in the x-ray right. or the MRI, but they don't have any pain, right? Whereas other people have a little bit of, you know, abnormality, but they have a lot of pain. So what exactly do you think causes is the origin of that pain? Like why some people experience it so much more than other people? Yeah, good question. That's why how in Chinese medicine, Chinese medicine, it's been practiced for 5,000 years. A lot of the things that got very clear. From two aspects, we explain to the patient why you have a pain. Number one, it's... Uh, Small joint dislocation. Small joint dislocation does not show on the x-ray. You will not see that. So Chinese, we have a Chinese orthopedic practice. You know, the uh, 正骨, 
you know, we said uh, mm-hmm. a bone management uh, practice. It's a part of a Chinese medicine. So those people are very skilled. Um, same, similar as a chiropractor, but it has a much long history and a much more experience because of thousands of years, never stop. Those are people they touch you, they know exactly what the joint are uh, off the off the lining or off the uh, you know off the balance. So they were going to adjust, you know, adjusting, and once they put the joint back to the original lining, the patient the pain disappears. Uh, very quickly, mm. um, you know, those uh, also medical doctors are very skillful. Sometimes I met the one from Taiwan. He never asked a patient. Wherever you are in pain, you have a problem. He put hands on your shoulder. He just touch it. He know exactly where you you are in problems. He does not adjust. He adjusts your body in a certain way. The joint will go back. You know, he's not forcefully like a chiropractor adjust, but he changes your body. With the breathing, the joints will go back on its own. That's the one element we say in Chinese medicine. It's a, a small joint dislocation. By this dislocation, absolutely does not show on the X-ray. You will not going to see. Only by skillful practitioner they can feel. They sometimes they show you both sides are different. You can feel different after they are just, just like a chiropractor. But I think it's more detail and the more. Do you do- uh, do you do adjustment when you're during in your practice when you? Do no, I don't do. I say that's the why explanation. Oh, that's okay. the why explanation that why you have a pain. Gotta be there's some joint dislocation, small joint, a small joint mm-hmm. dislocation. Um, without the cannot show up on the X-ray, and the, uh, you know the skill the doctor when they touch they they will find out where they adjust your. That's the why explanation. But in this world, the same things, same thing you always can explain or to view in different angles. Another one, it's a, in Chinese medicine, we call cold attack. So let's say this, when you have a pain, no matter the pain, where the pain located, you got to have some uh, soft tissue inflammation. So doctor agree. So you have back pain, not necessarily the bone structure triggers pinch on your nerve, but you must have some soft tissue inflammation, swollenness, sensitivity, achiness, the soft mm-hmm. tissue inflammation, because of the pain signal, it's due to local tissue inflammation. There's some waste cannot be removed. And the, first of all, the local tissue, local cells need the oxygen. They don't get enough good oxygen and they also have a waste, you know, like, uh, um, you know, some of the body after the uh, metabolism, there's a waste that need to be blood to remove. By some time you have a local inflammation, the circulation cannot go to locally, cannot fix the problem. So and that's what we call the soft tissue inflammation. By soft tissue inflammation, sometimes we think it's due to injury. Yes, injury can cause it. Sometimes, you know, we, we know we, we have a problem with the joint. Sometimes it's a wrong move. It's the, you know, we lift something heavy. We twist it in a certain way that triggers it. That's, a, that's the one of the reasons. Another reason in Chinese medicine, we always, always, always say that it's called attack. So, uh, to in order to sometimes patient because the doctor think, uh, medically doctor think uh, temperature has nothing to do with anything. If you think anything related to the temperature, uh, you are you are voodoo. You 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 crazy. That has nothing to do. But right. in order to prove right. that, you sweat. I put ice on you or put the air conditioning on you. Very quickly, you will develop in a pain. If so you like, try one, yeah. time, you will find out. You will find out. That's the truth. It's like a doctor right. think, you know, when you catch a virus, it has nothing to do with the temperature. But mm-hmm. no one gets sick. You're not sick. Mm-hmm. It's cold, ra- rainy, windy day. You exercise, sweat, you go out, take a nap. I guarantee that you get sick. Of course, it has something to do mm-hmm. with the temperature. No one's sick. You are the first one. No, you can't blame on anyone give it to you the bar because you just take a nap outside, you can see. So temperature is very, in Chinese medicine, we call the B syndrome. B, it's a, when called a damp, mixed, 
and uh, into this uh, local tissue triggers for the swollenness of the local uh, soft tissue. That's what the triggers uh, the cause of the pain. But in the meantime, when the you know, when the B syndrome gets into your body, your small joint also gets dislocated. So in Chinese medicine, we, we, we view this in order for the problem to come to stay in your body, your body has to be changed. If your By the body. Way, oh, sorry, sorry, if anyone has questions, you can always um, ask, ask questions in the comment section for Dr. Liu as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, when, especially when you're sweating. I, I see this all the time. The patients say that, you know, those Western patients, they, they are smart. They come to me and say, my back is hurting so much. I say, what happened? Yesterday, I lay on there to watch television. Window is open, blow on my back. But I was lazy to get up to close the window. And uh, then I got afterwards, my back hurts so much. I didn't injure. So the patient knows exactly. Some people... They, if they are carefully to watch their body, they know they always have history. So that's why I say in Chinese medicine, in acupuncture, we are not necessarily the pain management. We, we don't manage the pain. When, when we do the acupuncture, do the herbs, we treat locally and the local tissue sweat right away. So when you sweat, you release it. But when you exercise, you sweat, you don't release it enough. But with acupuncture herbs, uh, we call, um, you know, you promoting your local sweat. When you sweat, the circulation increase, but more blood comes in, they bring more oxygen in the local tissue, they remove all the, you know, waste from the local tissue. So the heat, the, so what do we call, we not manage the pain. We help take care of the problem. So when we treat the patient, the patient never have a problem again. So a few, uh, a few months ago, one of my patient, she called me. She used to, she has other issues, so I fixed it. But one time she, she called me, she said, I got to do the surgery for my neck. Fifteen years ago, I, you know, doctor said I have some disc issues. I want me to do the surgery. I never do the surgery. I just... Um, you know, I just uh, hold off for 15 years now. Uh, I'm, lately, my neck is hurting so much, I think I cannot hold much longer. I have to do the surgery. I say, don't worry about it. You come one or two treatments, you will be fine. She said, yeah, really? I said, has nothing to do with that. Even you did the surgery, you can't guarantee 15 years uh, uh, later, you will never have any muscle pain or no pain at all because of you. Mm -hmm. No, that has nothing to do with that. Uh, so she come, I treated, you know, one time she feel 80% better. Another time she will find, has nothing to do with it because she feels so, uh, she feels so, um, you know, discouraged or feel so sorry for herself. 15 years ago, I should have do surgery. I didn't do, I hold off, but now I can't hold much longer. I mean, it's so much pain. No, you, you, you just got chilled. You just, you know, somehow injured. So you take care of her one or two treatment. So <clears throat> that's why we have to mm -hmm. let the people know it's a, we don't necessarily feel the body. It's uh, so stupid. They don't understand that. anything at all. When you're getting a little older, when you have a little degenerate disc, they will pinch a nerve for you to pain to death. No, that's not the case. A lot of the time, you know, uh, young people have more pain than elderly people. And this we can take care of. And we can take care of very easy and uh, not difficultly. Very easy if we do right. Uh, sometimes, you know, that, but, but again, I say when you're in pain, in 24 hours, never relieve, always in pain, got to be, you have to be careful. Number one, uh, could be it's you, you know, you it's the bone structure or, you know, the stenosis or something more serious. You have to see the surgeon or you have to see a doctor. That's number one. Number two for us. We have to be on the, uh, careful, understand that when the patient in pain, they go have the MRI, have the X-ray. Um, I don't stop them from doing that. At least we find out if the patient has a bone cancer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the patient, the pain it's come from the pain cancer. We think, oh, you have a cold attack. I will take care of you. But that's not true because you can take care of the pain. But we need to find out if it's a cancer, we have to, you know, treat by right. under the 
colleges. We can't just, just you know. <clears throat> so that's why I say, um, you know, after the doctor to examine or to find out that's uh, no big deal or, you know, we, we, we can always help by, it's not managed. If we do, in this world, no matter East medicine and the West medicine, if we know exactly cause of the problem, we can take care of very quickly and do not need you for the medical help for the rest of your life. So if we have a question. The reason, yeah. That's what. Yeah. I see. So um, someone asked a question. Um, if someone's ears feel like ears feel red or hot to the touch, mm -hmm. can that sometimes be connected to back pain or can, can sensation oh, no, on no. the ears? The, the ear, a regular system, a certain part relate to your back, relate to your hip. Sometimes when you have a chronic back pain, they will show up on the ear in a certain part. That's the uh, holographic, uh, you know, the uh, connection, you know, each part, every part of the body connect to the entire of the body. That's a different, you know, you find that, that has to be diagnosed specifically to treat. That's okay. Mm. Do you, and, and so sometimes you also use ear acupuncture points to treat the back, low back, or to treat yes, back pain? we do. From the ear, from the ear, we can treat the back. We from the locally, from anywhere, we can treat the problem. But most important, we have to find out. We have to figure out this. Uh, uh, you know the pain. If we treat it right, just a few sessions of patient, normally the pain will be uh, get much mm. better. You know, if the doctor think you have an infection, they give you antibiotic, they never tell you, take for the rest of your life. You say, no need. You take seven days, you'll be fine. So if mm -hmm. they give you something, you take forever. That's not treating your problem. It's only help you. Uh, you know, let's say if someone got shot, there's a bullet in the shoulder. If, you, if the doctor knows so they surgically remove the bullet, your shoulder will recover fully. If they don't know that, they just, oh, you come, I will massage you. I will use, you know, the eyes. I can use, some, you know, the gentle device. And then you feel comfortable, but you always have a pain. You always have to come to do this because they never take care of the problem. If they did, they remove the bullet. You will never have a problem again. <clears throat> so that's why I say pain management, the doctor, you know, the patient take, you know, um, the strong painkiller drugs that take for the rest of your life, that take opium, um, you know, this, uh, it can be avoided. You know, sometimes it's maybe difficult, but in Chinese medicine, actually, it's not difficult to treat. If we know exactly the reason, we do a patient recover. But one thing for sure, the treatment, we have a different uh, level of the treatment. Some patients are extremely sensitive. We do very gently. We do gently, will take a longer time to recover. If we do stronger, well, you, you will recover sooner. It's like you want to train for, uh, you know, Olympics. If you are training harder, you will build up your strength sooner. If we say, I don't want to sweat, I'm muscle, I don't want to muscle hurt, you will do gentle, that's okay. But don't think more gentle you go, better you will get. It's like... Uh, you buy the house, you pay bigger price, you buy bigger house. You pay less, you buy small. Don't expect you pay less by buy bigger house. That's not going to happen. Uh, but, you know, everything, treatment, it's the same thing. If you, you know, we say no pain, no gain. If you can tolerate a little bit of sensation or something, you speed up sooner. If we say I'm too sensitive, we can still help you. We do gentle by expect a longer time. But some people come and say, I'm so ex so sensitive, you can't do much. You barely touch me, I'm going to jump. And I expect, uh, you know, 20 years condition with uh, two visitors to, that's unrealistic. You know, everything has to be realistic. You know, you, 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 know, you want to tolerate, you want to do the best, and you can do better. Uh, yeah, so. So are there certain types of patients who, uh, you know, have a kind of chronic pain that you advise them to come in on a more regular basis, even though, let's say, let's say you treat them a couple of treatments and the pain goes away, but if they're still doing, let's say they, they're a sports player and they, they're always doing the same repetitive movements, do you tell them to come back regularly for treatments or just only when yes, yes. have pain? Yeah. Acute condition probably will be under control soon by the patient. Everyone has, everyone has a weaker area. 
what I say, weak area means、uh, you know some people runs in their family. Everyone have a stomach problem. Some people maybe runs the family. Everyone have arthritis or have a joint problem. Some some people maybe have a family history. Everyone diabetes. Ah,、uh, so in order to help your weakness, sometimes take longer time. And also, when you get the we in Chinese medicine we say you get the cold attack. Shorter time you get rid of it sooner. Longer time even the pain reduced by we cannot get rid of the toxicity so quickly, ah,、uh, because the body is the way. They get used to whatever the original condition. They hold it, so that's why it take longer time to to help. You know, to help. Do you, do you also recommend patients take herbs when they have pain related issues? Or yes, yes.、Yeah. A patient, you know, certain conditions we do give them herbs. Um, you know, in conjunction with acupuncture,、uh, but it really depend. By the patient had a problem for longer period of time, definitely take longer time to recover. But sometimes you feel less painful, but from less painful until the problem totally under control, that may take take time. Ah,、uh, but doesn't mean doesn't mean to take a very long time ah、uh, to see any change. Patient don't want to say I will come to see you for my back pain. Ah,、uh, I don't want to just spend all the money. You tell me after thirty treatment, I feel better. I. If after thirty, I don't feel better. Thirty time of treatment, I waste it. Well, it doesn't take that long. Take a few sessions, you should get some notice, or some change. But in order to build up your strength and to help get rid of whatever inside or help the problem, that could take a long term. So we do have a patient come regularly. Their back is holding, you know, very good, doing very good. Because in you know, also your daily life, you lifting, you bending over, work on your yard, you do a lot of stuff. And so, and so in, in terms of the heat and cold, and cold, I know, I know in Western, Western medicine, medicine, a lot of times the doctors will recommend that patients put the cold pack on the area of pain, pain, right? But do you recommend that also, or do you prefer more heat application? According to the medical, it's totally according to the medical reference. When a patient had new injuries, we could use ice, ice pad. By the ice we use, so we only use for twenty four hours, not more than forty eight hours. Uh, uh, that's you know like a sports injury,、uh, right afterwards because it's still swollen, bleeding. It's okay to use ice, but for chronic condition, for the long term condition, we don't. You know, in the beginning, new injuries, we want to stop the circulation. Because、uh, we want to stop, otherwise、uh, get more swollen, get more bleed, more bruised.、Uh, you know, that's why we can use ice. But pain after a couple of days or chronic condition, we don't use. We don't suggest to use ice. So you can use low level of the heat because ice, chronic condition. We need again, as I said, we need to improve the circulation. More blood coming, bring the oxygen, remove the waste. So the patient, the joint recover. You use ice. Ice has a tendency to numb the pain. You know, ice numb the pain. We know. You know, winter you lose all the feeling of your finger. Even you, you bite your finger, you don't feel pain because the ice can do that. Stop the nerve trans, you know, transmitter working.、Uh, so that's why when a patient in pain, you put the ice on, they have no pain. But、uh, the reason, you know, patient go to physical therapy after treatment, they always put the ice on. I totally understand it. They have to do it because if they don't do, they're in trouble. So the, why?、Mm-hmm. The patient has a problem locally. When you come in, you exercise, you work out in the locally. What happened? More swollen, more pain. I guarantee that the patient has more pain. If you broken your, I mean, exercise is good, but if your arm broken, I'm going to massage, rubbing you. Of course, you get worse. So,、um, but after they are doing that, the patient can must be get worse. So before the patient leave, they put the ice on, numb the thing, so patient leave will feel happy. Otherwise, the patient will get upset. Say, I've been coming to you for four months. Every time I leave, I feel much worse than I walked in. What are you doing? Of course, they can't do business like that.、Right. So they have to do. But ice, very bad. I had a patient 
he told me, he said, I see it's a really good, uh, good idea uh, for, for his back. I said, how long have you been using ice? 28 years. Mm. 28 years. I said, I see it's so good. You should heal uh, 28 years ago. 28 years hey, later, you still use it. I think I see it's so good. Uh, so I treat a lot of people. They, uh, one of the women had a, a tendonitis with her hand or carpal tunnel. Um, she's a, a, a professor of a USC. So she's an educated person. It's not the, some person not educated. So she went to her doctor sent her to, um, you know, the PT. Year and a half, keep on get worse. So she came to me year and a half later, her doctor said, you need to do something else. This is not working. Year and a half, you keep on get worse. When she comes, her hands are cold like ice cube. So she's still doing ice every day, a few times. I say, you got to stop it. She stopped. I treated her two weeks later. She feels so much better. Year and a half, keep on get worse. I keep on the two weeks later. But, you know, take more time. And she's, because it's tendon, take a lo longer time, she, she recovers. But that's indicated ice. Because, you know, when you use ice, that moment you feel happy. But later on, the big problem. So when you are unhappy, you take uh, an opium, you feel very happy that moment. But you don't do it because later on you're in trouble. That's, that's we, we need to see short term, you, you know, short term benefits or long term benefits. If we only think of, concentrate on short term benefits or forget about long term benefits, long term benefits, we're in trouble. So we, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the money I just spend it today, because I'm happy today, then what happened next day? Or then what happened next year? So we only have to concentrate on long term benefits and the suffering or sacrifice the short term. Um, you know, short-term benefits. That's so, that's life. Last question is um, about electro stimulation. I know a lot of, in your practice, a lot of times you use a lot of electro stim when you do the acupuncture. So how does that help? The electrical, exactly? yeah, electrical stimulation is this. If you put on a skin or if you just random connect to the needle, never worked. If there will be ch no change after your, you know, Electrical stimulus, the patient come back and say, no change. That's the best results you got. If there's any change, get worse. So electrical stimulator has to, what I, because when I teach electrical stimulation, most expert against it. They think it's crazy. I've been used for 30 years. I know it's not working. So many people do. I, only when I do, I put a needle into the meridian. When I put the needle in the meridian muscle twitching one time, that means we got the needle right on the meridian and the, uh, you know, the, that's the de qi, that's the, you. Then I collect the electrical that goes to the meridian that's supporting the healing. In Chinese medicine, in acupuncture, meridian matters more than anything. Meridian so is you like... you have to get the muscle to twitch before you put Electrical doesn't, doesn't count. You got twitch means accuracy. Mm -hmm. No matter you twitch or not, you connect to the device, they always twitch anyway. But that has nothing to do with the meridian, non-meridian, it's a reaction. But you see electrical stimulate the meridian, the patient heals very quickly. But a meridian is like a, a electrical cable under the uh, ground. They can travel long distance. They can from your face to feet. But the body, without the uh, electrical cable, the body is like Earth. You put the electricity on, they get to the zero. They don't transform. Uh, you cannot use, you know, some of them, uh, the electricity goes to the Earth, they become zero. You can't use that. You can't use that for the machine. Only when they run in the cable, you can use the electric. The body is exactly the same thing. When the electricity runs into the meridian, the help the healing. If the meridian, if the electrical only runs the muscle, it doesn't do any good at all. So that's that's so, so basically so you're saying that for, for pain, <laughs> that the acupuncture can actually help to increase the blood flow and local circulation in the area and that's help with the healing. That's is that part of it? Acupuncture, it's uh, um, you know, if we say sometimes we're looking for any food or any herbs, we said this will cure all kinds of a disease. 
uh, that's impossible because everyone have a different uh, condition. No herb, single herbs will fit everyone. By help you, do not help him. So that by meridian, even though we don't find a meridian, but we know meridian exists. In Chinese medicine, in the Neijin, in Yellow Emperor internal classic, they say, what's a meridian? Meridian help balance the deficiency and uh, um, you know, excess. Meridian will support the body to heal all kinds of the disease. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Chinese medicine, we say, if you stimulate meridian, any condition you will recovered. That's that's according so to Chinese medicine. I see. So the, sometimes you, yeah. you you treat the even if you treat the opposite side of the body, but it, because it's connecting meridian, so for example, low back pain, you'll treat the shoulder. Yeah. That's why it can still help, right? Uh, the point it's a meridian, it's a specific channel. It's not the, every part of the it's a, let's say the body, if we say body it's like a refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator, you have a milk, you have a apple juice, you have a, uh, you have a, uh, you know the, uh, you have a, a bread, you have a ma many things. In order to get it, you say I need the juice, I need the juice. You have to open the, uh, a refrigerator to get the juice. You can't just open the refrigerator, take anything. There will be juice because you need the juice. So meridian in the body is very specific. You have to make sure you need to really contact the meridian in order to stimulate the meridian. It's not that you put the needle into the skin, you will automatically stimulate the meridian. It doesn't, that doesn't work this way. It doesn't, work. it's like a cable under the ground. It's a specific, you know, be, you, you have to get it, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's why sometimes we, I teach acupuncture, because most of people think I put the needle in, I'm done, I'm stimulating meridian. That's, you are not. Meridian very specific. Very so the, the way that you know that you found the meridian is because the, when you put the needle in, the, it will kind of twitch? Twitch, yeah. That, that I didn't invent that. The ancient Chinese doctor say that. It's not, I'm not, not a first one. Because they say you're fishing. You eat the qi. You got the qi means you're fishing. Fishing is a movement. They, they use the fishing because the fish is moving. You know, they, uh, if, yeah. that's the purpose. But people think they use it for the heaviness. Heaviness, they would use something like metal or something like uh, they're not going to use the fishing. The fishing does not express the heaviness. Fish express the, uh, you know, the movement. I see. Hmm. I got I got kicked out from the Zoom. It's okay. We we're we're still on Instagram Live though, so we we don't don't worry about the Zoom thing for now. Okay. I think he just yeah, recorded yeah. whatever we had. Yeah, but but uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, you know that uh, that's uh, the uh, TCM. But what I want to say, TCM will take care of your uh, joint pain. It's uh, treating your problem. It's not uh, only reduce the pain. You have the same problem. But people, you getting older, you are degen You know, your joint will get worse. It's not going to get better. You know. Let's say people who's uh, you. If we see someone has a lot of a change in your joint in the seventies, uh, if you you if you live to ninety five, we should see three three times more than you are in the seventies. But the reality, the truth, it's uh, the patient the pain. It's not always get worse according to they get older. You know, get older, your X ray looks you lose more cartilage, so the pain should be always increased. If you are 103, you must be pain to death because your X ray looks 300 times worse than when you were in 40s. Uh, but reality is not. A lot of elderly people, they're doing perfect. I mean, they may move slow because they're getting old, but they're not necessarily always in pain. Or sometimes they are in pain in short time. But young people um, also in a lot of pain. So that, that's why, you know, some people even the seven or eight or 10 years old, so the doctor will think, okay, because of you, the growth pain, you're growing so fast. That's why your knee hurt. That's ridiculous. Who does not grow it fast? The, patient, the person growing fast for 18 years by only in 18 years of growing fast, only two weeks in pain, that doesn't make any sense. So they don't know the reason they give you a lot of explanation. 
but doesn't mean that they really tell you the truth or they know what they're talking about. So do you have any recommendations, like exercise recommendations for people to do to help, you know, s s prevent joint or joint type of conditions or joint pain through their yeah. Yeah. lifetime? Number one, yeah, number one, stay away from cold as much as possible. When you're hot, you are more, you know, you are more vulnerable to cold. So you sweat, you sleep, stay away from cold. Uh, so uh, I used to treat one nurse. She has a neck pain. I treat her, but her pain get better and the can't get worse. Get better, get worse. I told her, you have to stay warm. She said, no, I can't. I sleep with the opening window. I say, why? Because my husband feels so hot. He has to open the window. I say, you got to close it. Otherwise, no one can help. She closed. And uh, three weeks later, she come back to me and say, thank you. Not only my neck get better, my, my husband, the lower back gets so much better since we closed the mm -hmm. uh, window. So you have to stay away from cold, uh, number one. Number two, of course, you have to be careful. We know exercise or certain movement will injure your joint. You have to be careful not to lift something heavy or repetitive motion that can weaken your joint. That's all partially. So that's what we, everybody knows. But here I pointed out it's uh, um, the cold because uh, uh, most of people don't know and the doctor do not give any credit for cold because they think the temperature has nothing to do with anything. And when you go detail, you know the temperature plays a big, you know, rule for the, for the body, for the health. And, and do you recommend any, do you ever recommend that your patients take certain supplements like people who have arthritis or, you know, do, do you have them take certain supplements to prevent, to help with inflammation? Uh, yes. Or? yes. Not supplemented, not only help the inflammation, help overall in general health. But mm -hmm. here in the United States, the people are more uh, open to acupuncture than the herbs. When they talk about the herbs, they get so scared that they don't want to take. So I don't force them to take because uh, I have to say the herbs, the results of herbs are very, it's approved. Uh, works very good. But here in Western country, in the United States, the herbs has a difficulty to let the people to accept because the pharmaceutical company don't want to see any uh, competition. They don't, they don't like to see competition. Uh, if you do acupuncture, they don't they feel you will, they will lose the business from acupuncture practice. But they will feel the herbal remedy, they are going to lose the business. That's very serious. They're not going to let this happen. So any, so more effective you are, more angry they will get. So mm -hmm. anything they think people think herbs are good, they have to write some some papers say herbs is extremely dangerous. They hurt your liver, hurt your heart, hurt everything. But what you talking about? You know, rice, apple, those are herbs. You say you say herbs are bad. Which herbs are bad? I mean, which some herbs are really toxic, but we not use FDA abandoned. But you say this don't go to this country because one person murdered another must be whole country are murder. You can't say that, you know. So herbs it's the right. same thing. There's a lot of a good thing, but people will not listen then because they get so scared. Pharmaceutical will not go into lesson either. So it's not like you, you are not effective, you are not safe, you are not good. No, no, business is a business. We treat us then they treat a business very serious. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to understand. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you, Dr. Lu. Um, does anyone have any questions? We just have a little meeting here. We're going to end soon, but um, if no one has questions, then. Yeah. Anyone has a questions, you know, we can also answer. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, but thank you very you much. Yeah. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for joining uh, us. Uh, yeah. Thank you everyone to join us. And uh, we hope we have a more opportunity to, to communicate. That's a uh, great. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.